Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I am Nicole and I live in India, but today I'm coming to you from my hometown in the, the house that I grew up in and I am doing a reaction with it's McDonald's because sometimes a good Mickey D's is great and it's McDonald's Pakistan versus India. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't necessarily enjoy McDonald's in India because I can't get a burger there, like a burger burger, a non-veg beef burger. That's what I like at McDonald's, although their french fries are delicious. There's are also quite a few other things that are not on the menu that are available in the U.S. So when you grow up with the Mickey D's on every street corner here, and then you're in India and you're like, oh my gosh, McDonald's, it's going to be great. And then it's so different. Um, it was sometimes a bit of a disappointment, but the French fries are something you can always depend on. The French fries there and here do in fact taste the same. Um, they're very good. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's, this is Pakistan versus India McDonald's and we'll see who wins. So two things I've not seen before. First, a chicken oh, bag and then Mickey. If you haven't already, please give me your like, please give me your subscribe, and let's go. Arabia. This is a menu item that at least McDonald's believe is going to suit the appetite of folks across countries where they don't really eat so much pork. Let's go for I it. Know. I know. Well, good morning, and welcome back to the second channel. Today, I'm in Pakistan with my dude, Ali. Well, and this is Sunny Side. This, I didn't even know that this was him. So this is uh, Best Ever Food and he was here in India not too long ago and he did quite a few videos and I have done quite a few reaction to his. He's a great presenter. I love watching him and he's uh, he's funny and I like it. So let's go ahead and uh, continue. Hi guys. Today I'm on a special mission. I'm going to be going to McDonald's here in Pakistan and then to McDonald's in India right next door. Now last time I went to a McDonald's in Mexico. You guys loved it. McDonald's around the world, they have different foods, different ingredients. Of course, they have to make recipes that are going to appeal to the local palate. For example, in India, not a lot of folks eating beef. McDonald's has a lot of beef burgers. So things are going to be a lot different when we go to India. But now we're in Pakistan and I have no idea what to expect. Let's do this. We have arrived at the McDonald's. It is behind me right now. First of all, some very obvious differences. It doesn't say McDonald's in English. It says it in the local language. Here, the first sign of different food items. Take a look. The hot and crispy burger. It's only 275 RS. What's an RS? So I think this is going to give me a little bit of a clue or a hint as to what McDonald's is going to be like here in Pakistan. People here love green chilies, and this says it's going to be very spicy. That's what I'm looking forward to. We're going to go inside right now and check out the rest of the menu. Let's go. walking area, obviously. <laughs> Super safe. Oh, this place is lavish. So this is one of the most modern McDonald's I've ever seen. They have the kiosks here so you can order. They have a McCafe, they have, they have, cheese cake, they have coffee, they have a little bit of everything. I'm gonna do my order right. here so I don't have to talk to a person. I will eat in. So this is a big item they're advertising a lot right now, the hot and crispy burger. Definitely add to order. Whoa, this is something I've not seen before. Double Big Mac, Let's try that. Chicken menu. So two things like I've it? not seen before. First, a chicken mac and a McArabia. I'm gonna get both of them. So besides beef and chicken, they have a McNuggets menu, a fish menu, and a crispy chicken menu. Crispy chicken, this is already unique because many places in the US do not have crispy chicken. We can get a crispy chicken two-piece with a regular drink, Coke Zero, because I'm on a diet. They also have a sauce selection menu right here. All right, I'm gonna try some of that mint mayo. Hold on, I just saw a poster with something. Medium loaded fries. Okay, another thing I've not seen before. I'm gonna get that too. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be at the table eating a bunch of McDonald's food I've never seen before in my freaking life here in Pakistan. Let's go. So far, everyone's been very chill and cool with us filming, and by that, I mean they haven't stopped me or said anything, so. Very ecstatic, very excited about what's in front of me right now. By the way, they didn't have mint mayo. They ran out, so they gave me cheesy mayo. We're gonna try that soon. The first thing I wanna start with is the loaded fries. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there's mayo, cheese, jalapenos, barbecue, french fries. They give you a tiny, cute little fork, so you can stab the french fries. Look at that. All right, let's try it out. I fear I've waited too long. Fries are a little bit soggy and they've absorbed all that sauce. The barbecue is nice and sweet and tangy. What is it? Mmm. 
chemical cheese sauce. Very nice. Right here, I've got a little bit more of that cheese, some jalapenos. Thank you. Nice bites to the jalapeno, and then this is cheese oh, mayo. Got some french fries, smash it into that cheesy mayo, smash a jalapeno onto there. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. I like the cheesy mayo, it tastes like mayo. And they took the Kraft macaroni powdered cheese and poured that into the mayo, mixed it up, and I am fine with that. I got also, in here, some chicken. Oh, the skin, is this not the best part right here? All that skin, the fried oily part, the crunchy bread on the outside. Watch this, I bet you've never done this before. And I even put that into the cheesy mayo. Oh yeah, let's try it out. I love it. Oh, John Mayer could write a song about this. Greasy, crunchy, completely decadent. And then the mayo just adds a little bit of toxicity. What's the word? It puts it to another dimension. It's too much. In a good way. Cleanse the palate. Ready for more. So we have a few things left here. I'm gonna start with the most similar and then head to the most different after that. This is the double Big Mac. That means there are four patties. It's over the top. I love when they put just two random pickles on one side of the bun. So just that bite has pickles in it. There's no cheese on the top, but there is cheese on the bottom. I'm pretty sure they made it wrong, but who cares? I'm here to enjoy it. I'm gonna compress it like this. Like I'm giving it CPR. Oh, All right, like squeezing your nephew's cheeks. There we go. Interesting. The normal Big Mac is almost a little too bready, but then they went past the line with this one. It's a little bit too beefy. It's pretty intense. Look at that sauce. Oh, I swear to God, every time I do these videos, I tell myself one bite per burger. One bite. <laughs> I'm a weak man. Next up, the chicken mac. This is like a double McChicken. Now, I'm curious about the sauce because to me, a Big Mac means Big Mac sauce. Oh, see, look at that. It is not really a chicken mac. It is a double McChicken because there is no Big Mac sauce. It is just mayo, cheese, lettuce, and even just one cheese. What is that about? Very sad. Let's give it a try. Oh, man. I still enjoy it quite a bit. Take a look at that bite. That's like when a shark takes a bite out of a surfboard. If you think I'm a good biter, check out my friend Johnny Samoa on TikTok. He's also doing banger videos at McDonald's, doing crazy food combinations you could never imagine. One more bite. Is it special? It's okay. You could get two McChickens, take off one bun, put the rest of it together, and it's the same thing. Same thing, yeah. Oh, got mayonnaise under my wedding ring. Common problem, actually. Usually that's how people would get it off more easily. You just gotta put mayonnaise under the ring. So I have two left, the Mick Arabia and the Hot and Crispy Burger. Now this is what I saw outside on the sign. This is what they're advertising right now. Let's take a look. It looks a little bit different from the McChicken patty. This time it does look like just normal Big Mac sauce, a little bit of lettuce, and then just kind of like a cheeseburger bun or the bun you would find on a smaller burger. Hot and crispy. Let's find out if it is indeed hot and also crispy. Not crispy. It is spicy, so it's definitely not Big Mac sauce. I was wrong there. For sure, you will not find something this spicy at any McDonald's in the USA, but it's not super special. I'm not loving it, as the, the slogan would say. We have one food left right here. This is the Mick Arabia. Two words you probably didn't imagine seeing together. So this is fascinating. It looks like some kind of Turkish gyro bread. There are two patties, but of course, we are in Pakistan. So these are not pork patties. These would be chicken patties. Usually when you see a patty like that in the USA, it's like a breakfast this patty full of porky goodness. Here, it's chicken. Folks aren't gonna eat pork here. So this is a menu item that at least McDonald's believe is gonna suit the appetite of folks across countries where they don't really eat so much pork. And then some tomato, some lettuce, and then some kind of a sauce on there. The bread looks really wee, soft. There's, it looks like there's some poppy seeds in there. Let's go for it. It is like a little Turkish gyro. I like it. Soft, juicy chicken. The sauce in there tastes a little bit like tajiki sauce. People here in Pakistan love their bread, especially paratha, chapati, flat bread that's cooked fresh constantly. And this gives you that feeling a bit. It's soft, it's doughy, it's flat, it's quite good. I mean, I would tell you if it sucked. This, the hot and crispy, how about lame and dusty? <laughs> That is, it. that is like one of the menu items here in Pakistan. My first time being at a McDonald's in this country, and it did not disappoint overall. My favorites from here, make Arabia for sure, but I also like the loaded fries and the super chemical cheese mayo. This was Pakistan, but now we're gonna go next door to India. We're gonna try McDonald's there and see how it is completely different from what you can find here. You ready? Are you nodding, yes? Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Delhi, India. Just behind me, I'm about to walk in and go to a McDonald's in India for the first time. Well, I'm a little bit scared. First of all, beef is forbidden in this country. McDonald's is a lot about beef, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of substitutes for beef. Let's just go in right now, look at the menu, and see what they got. All right, check it out. We are approaching the menu here. I'm taking a look right now. 
I do want to speak as like the better. There's plenty of places and Indians that eat beef. Don't have it on the menu. Guys, really check awesome. it out. First of all, they don't want you to film at the counter. So, fun tip, don't do that. They said, actually, here, it's okay. At the table, I've ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things I have absolutely never seen in the U.S. of A. And actually, I haven't seen that anywhere outside of here. Let's start with this. The Veg Pizza McPuff. Let's take it out. Oh, it is very similar to an apple pie, except it's filled with pizza stuff. Let's break it in there. An Must see the pizza ingredients. Oh, look, peas, guys. Oh, you guys know how much I love my pizza with peas on top. Why did that happen? Mm -hmm. This is more like a curry or something. Mm. Lots of spices, very salty, tomatoey. I don't taste any cheese. A little bit too much pee for my taste. I like the wrapper. It's flaky. It's not terrible. It's just like, is that pizza? I don't think it's pizza. I guess for an American, pizza means like it has to have tomato sauce, it has to have actual mozzarella cheese, and it has to have some form of pepperoni, which probably wouldn't be popular here. So regardless, a good start. Here, I really wanted to try their big spicy McRat with the paneer cheese. They didn't have it, but they do have the chicken one. Let's see if this is any different than something you might find. Oh yeah, it's so different. First of all, it's spicy. Look at that. That is like a burrito. This thing is colossal. I want, dare I open it up inside and see the contents? Oh, yep, there you go. Fried chicken, veggies, lettuce, onion, tomato, some white sauce in there. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's so bready and doughy. Chicken is crispy, delicious sauce in there. It's spicy, but not ridiculously spicy. And some vegetables, so it actually does taste like a little bit of freshness, which is something I miss here and there when I'm in India, just because the street food doesn't have so many vegetables. And I gotta say, it doesn't taste like incredibly Indian or like there's a lot of Indian spices. It seems like something that could be served in any country. And then somewhere they had a mick egg. Let's open this one. Oh, yes. Mind you, this is on the lunch menu. Let's open it up, see what's under the hood. Mayo, egg, onion, the end. That is awesome. This is what you do when you're trying to expand your menu and you don't have any beef. You just go, well, I guess people like eggs. They can still eat eggs. Yes. For me, I love eggs. Even though it's kind of weird to look at it, it's just kind of mayonnaise and an egg. It's like a deconstructed egg salad. Let's try it out. Bro. I'm a sucker for the simple things in life. Warm egg yolk, warm mayo, nice soft cheeseburger bread. To me, this works. When I was a kid living in a trailer house, I would make myself egg sandwiches all the time. Two pieces of white ass bread, two eggs, tons of mayo, that's it. So it brings me back to my trailer park days. That is three foods. We still have four more to try. Okay, let's try this. Dosa masala with whole wheat bun. Yeah, I have had dosa before, and this is what happens when you turn that into a burger. That is the masala. Masala is just basically a seasoning blend. It can be almost anything. And then there's a patty here. Let's give to try it is seasoned potatoes it's a little bit sour a little smoky really interesting not my favorite oh there's a, something in it that's kind of sour it's a very confusing explosion of different spices and flavors all put together in one not for me we have three left we have the big boy here i'm gonna come back to that in favor of whatever this one is right here this says mick veggie burger let's take a look at that we've had a few different vegetarian options but this is a whole different kind of hockey puck super processed grains seasonings flowers all put into a hockey puck shape coated with some other kind of flour here and then fried to make it crunchy on this side we got the lettuce we got probably some mayo when it comes to processed food it does not get much more processed than this. But that doesn't yeah. mean it can't taste good. Not bad. Crunchy. Little hit of masala. Not overly seasoned. The lettuce is bringing some freshness. It tastes turmeric and other commonly used Indian spices. Maybe cumin. Overall, pretty decent. I gotta say, if there's anywhere in the world you're gonna go to get good vegetarian food, don't go to LA. Go yeah. to here. India does vegetarian food better than any other country in the world, in my opinion. So that is a veggie burger. But it doesn't feel like cheese. Mm -hmm.
feel <laughs> underwhelmed and slightly depressed. Right here we have our last one. This is the Maharaja Mac Veg. We just had that veggie burger. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be just like two of those stacked on top of each other. It's interesting Probably. because I'm gonna need a waist trainer as soon as I'm done eating this and the burger already has a waist trainer on it. I'm gonna slowly undress it. This is a giant creation. No wonder they had to seal it all in. Oh, take a look at that. Ingredients just spilling out. Jalapeno, onion, lettuce, more onion, two veg patties. There's cheese on the bottom, not on the top. Orange sauce, that looks pretty awesome. But looks are not everything. I wanna know what's on your insides. Let's try it out. Oh, it's gonna be a mess. Big Mac sauce is good. I gotta say, those two patties feel hard as heck. If you threw that in someone's head, they'd be collecting disability for the rest of their life. Although they do have a crunch to them. I do like that part, but it definitely has an unnatural processed feel. Like, I'm gripping this tight, and the bread is squishing, but those vegetable discs are like the mounted from Game of Thrones, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hockey puck, but it's a crunchy hockey puck. It's almost like eating hash browns in there. And then the rest is just like a big salad. Tons of dressing on here. It's spicy, but there's no way to eat this without it kind of crumbling and breaking apart into little pieces. It's like an avalanche of random ingredients. All right, one more bite. So all that being said, I do like it. I like that even though a traditional Big Mac is gonna have a little bit of the B word, beef. But even though they don't have beef here, they're still doing something. They're still creating a Big Mac. And they're still doing it their own way with their own style. Ordinarily, I might be tempted to say one is the winner between Pakistan and India, but here they're just so different. You can't really judge like this one is better. If I had to eat at one, maybe I could answer that way. If I had to choose one of them to eat at, I'd probably go with the one in Pakistan because it just has more of the food that I'm familiar with that I've grown up with. But this is super fun for trying things that are, are really new. Guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoy seeing all these fantastic, interesting differences between two McDonald's. It is always fascinating to me to see what McDonald's does to try to change flavors and adjust their menu and recipes to the local palate. Two pretty different places that happen to live side by side, Pakistan and India, but their McDonald's tells the true story of both or something. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Squeezing Your Cheeks. A piece. Awesome. Okay. So I would have to agree with his uh, assessment there. I would definitely be choosing to eat in Pakistan if I had to eat at a McDonald's. To be perfectly honest, though, um, it's been many years since I have actually really had a craving for McDonald's while living in India because in India, there are so many other restaurants that are giving better food than McDonald's. So I get wonderful burgers outside at some of my favorite restaurants, you know, French fries that are amazing. So I don't ever feel as an American, oh, I wish I could go to McDonald's and have a have a burger there. I mean, I definitely did experience that initially when, when I moved to India 18 years ago. Western food was a bit harder to find. But in and not only that, it's the nostalgia. It's the McDonald's. It's the where you might have gone when you were little for a treat with your parents and having something that reminded you of home. But I don't, I don't really have that problem anymore. So um, thankfully, I don't go to McDonald's um, really that much anymore. So, but if I had to, it would be Pakistan. I hope you like the uh, reaction um, today. If you did, uh, please give a like, please give a subscribe. If you'd like to see something else, please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I love you and bye-bye.